Okay, so hey everyone, it is Owen here, and uh, I'm going to show you how to support Janna. So, we can get started. Um, first off, you don't really want to. This is with everyone, I'm, I just. I think I tell you guys this every game that I play, or um, every game that I start, uh, you don't want to level up your abilities. Um, level, like in the base. You want to sit here and kind of wait until you see an opportunity to level them up and you the easiest way to actually level them up faster so you can do that is to uh, keybind it so that you have control and then you can click the key or you can go shift and then click them like I do. I changed it to shift just because um, it was better feeling in my opinion. My control is kind of far my control feels kind of far and I don't know how to get to that easily so uh, just kind of walking around um, my team is really fucking retarded not really well I don't really like it uh, we don't have any big CC or Harden well we've got we've got a hard engage in the sense that we're kind of all gonna be together but we really don't have like uh, like a really hard AOE CC engage, which is a really good uh, component of the team that I usually like. We got pretty good disengage with Janna. Um, I could have shielded Warwick, saved some of that damage, but didn't because there's a potential that I'm gonna get a kill right here. So. Just kind of staying on him. One more auto. Didn't need to flash that. But I don't really care. Alright. So that uh, that is actually a really strong laning start for us. Um, let's see. Lee Sin didn't start at his red. Which means he either started blue. Uh, yeah, he started blue. Or he started our red. And I don't think he started our red because there were two people bot lane, so you would have started it alone. And I could have checked, but that's all good. So basically, the reason why I'm saying that is because when you ward, you want to ward so that your wards will last for as long as they can, while uh, your wards will last for as long as they can while uh, you're down here. So you only ward so that you know where people are and when they're coming. And since I know basically where everyone is on the map right now, besides Lee Sin, and Lee Sin, I'm kind of going to guess when to R red. Um, I'm going to find that out actually in like 20 seconds when I see uh, Warwick go to R red. Oh, he didn't go to R red, he went to R wraiths, so it's just kind of delaying it, which is kind of annoying. Hmm. Yeah, so we could potentially get ganked actually now. Because I wanted him to check red, and then that would have been a lot easier. Alright, Lee Sin's top. See? I didn't have to worry about all of that, and our red's gone, because Warwick took two years to go check it. I'm going to start trying to like attack the turret a little bit. Uh, we have a level advantage since they were out of lane while we did everything. And we don't have to worry about ganks, because uh, Lee Sin's currently top lane. I'll probably end up warding uh, the. I'll probably end up warding that push soon with an actual ward because the disappeared. So he could have based. So I'll go do that now since we're pushed up. I don't really have to worry about ganks from Orion until like level seven, honestly. Uh, if they gank earlier than that, it's kind of unexpected. But then your mid lane should be in charge of that. So let's see. I can see if I can try to zone him or something. I can't really zone because I'm on Janna, but. So in Masteries, uh, let's see. I went 1 8 21. Uh, I, always, I always put one point into the Summoner's Wrath because I take Exhaust. So Exhaust or Ignite, uh, depending on what their team's like, so it's always really a good idea. 
Um, it's always really a good idea to have uh, one point in that. There's Lee, and there's that Savior Ward over there. So that kind of gave us uh, gave us vision of that, which was really helpful. Um, another thing that I should do is should have done earlier actually is check what um, Thresh has for wards. So he's got two wards and a rejuve bead. So he did kind of the same start that I did. We're uh, we're both basically trying to rush the Philo Stone, and we're doing it for different reasons. I think I'm doing it because I've got health quints instead of uh, gold for ten quints, and that's actually just because. If you are in a lane like, uh, if you're in a lane with like an AD carry and a support thresh or something somewhere where they are gonna possibly burst you down or do something big like that level one, it's actually a really good idea to run health quints because they are hugely helpful and really protective of uh, like they're they're just a lot safer and gold for ten quints. Um, I can do the math right now if I wanted to. Let's see. So it's three gold every ten seconds. A game, let's say, lasts thirty minutes. Uh, how many seconds is in thirty minutes? You do sixty times thirty, which would be eighteen hundred seconds divided by. So you get one eighty, and then one eighty times three. So you'd end up getting five hundred and forty gold by the end of it, which is actually just a Philo stone. Uh, you don't really buy anything that drastic off of it, maybe 180 health. Uh, it could put you ahead of someone potentially, but gold per 10 uh, quints aren't as useful as you'd actually think. I do want to base here soon. I'm, I kind of want to know how much gold uh, Caitlyn has, because I would like to get a Philo Stone. And now that we're pushing, I really enjoyed getting that. Alright, so since we pushed, Kaylin should be comfortable basing. Uh, she kind of stayed a little bit longer than I wanted, but that's fine because she actually got some extra pushing out of that. Uh, and now that we're pushed, we kind of have lane dominance over uh, Thresh and Tristana, which I haven't seen Tristan in a while. She's probably base. Uh, there she is. And she has a pickaxe and a Dorn's Blade and boots. Kaylin bought a BF sword and boots, so we're actually going to have more damage than she will, which is also good. 61 CS to 38 means we're doing really well in harassing, and that jazz uh, ward there so that I can see if their mid lane or Lee Sin runs through river earlier. You don't actually have to ward this bush after a while because because uh, if you have it covered here and here, then they really can't get into that bush without you knowing about it so so yeah so I think Kaylin's just freezing the lane now honestly or she AFK all right there we go yeah so she's just freezing the lane so that we um, deny them a farm for longer it's kind of a smart move because we do have a huge advantage and they really can't do anything about it since we're uh, ahead so like say they try fighting us, then <laughs> so say they try fighting us, nothing's gonna happen. Uh, if they don't try fighting us, then they miss out on creeps, and if they try creeping, then we kill them. So it is a really good way to actually pressure lead. I thought she was gonna go in for the rass. So. I heard a trap uh, pop, which is weird. Yeah. Fuck. There you go. But... Oh shit. Those lead plays. Alright, now he's out of energy. Um, I'm hoping I didn't get another assist. Alright, sick. That or shit. My assist timer ran out, which kinda sucks. Warwick's ult should be up in like 20 seconds, honestly. But, um... 
I guess that's why you play with sounds on. Because I heard that... I heard a trap go off. Like, I heard the clicking, but for some reason I didn't fucking see it on the map. So, I guess I just... Like, I didn't look at the mini-map as soon as it happened. Or maybe the trap didn't go off, but for some reason I thought that Lee Sin was in this bush. So, took a ward at it, and then, uh... He shot me in the face, and I had to do some crazy plays. I could have just thrown a tornado in there, but, uh... Didn't think about it at the time. Thought about it right afterwards when I got kicked in the face. But, uh... And the reason why I'm warding that is because I don't think we're going to be pushed up for another, like, 30 seconds. Or I don't think I'm going to have another chance to ward it. I talk about trying to save your wards, but boom, there we go. Off one right there. I'm going to try to CS against Caitlyn. Or, who is this bitch? Uh, Trisana. Alright, so on Janna, you want to max your shield first, and then usually uh, you want to max your shield first, and then your W second. I don't think you'd ever actually change that. Uh, the whole point of a Janna lane is just kind of like, shield all the damage that an AD carry takes, and then while your shield's on, um, while your shield is on uh, the AD carry, then she gains a ton of attack damage. Right now it's 41, so that's like a pickaxe and a, a blade, and it's ridiculous. Also, so you can also, since it's on a really pretty short cooldown, you can pop it on her and then she can harass with it, so. That lantern. I honestly dislike Cassidens, I don't know. I feel like they're easy to play against. I mean, that's kind of like a one-way street. Like a Cassidens lane, you honestly, all you do is sit there and... Um, Alright, so I didn't expect her to dive into us. I guess she got Warwick off of it. But, um... Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can do anything here. Ready? Yeah, so I figured Oriana would shoot the, the slow, but it's it's worse to get slowed and take a ton of damage than it is to just get slowed. Uh, also, use my exhaust on Oriana because. Uh, I figured she was going to do something, like, actually try to kill us. Whereas she just kind of ulted and it did a lot of damage, and then, um, after that, didn't really have to worry about her. And exhaust isn't only for AD carries, but, I mean, usually you want to save it for a fucking AD carry. They're the ones that are going to do the most damage. But still, it's really helpful. Um... I would like to get a ward, but I'm not going to wait for that. Actually, yeah, I'll wait for it. I haven't had to use my biscuit, and I just had to use my two potions. There we go. That's a ton of gold, and seeing as they just pinked, um, fuck, fuck, fuck. So you can't buy right here. That's annoying. Like, you can buy over here, but you can't buy right over here. Just buy two pinks now. I know that the dragon's pinked. Alright, I guess that was a good disengage. Thresh hasn't thrown a hook that I know of. Um, so Thresh actually pinked up right here. Alright, well, time to get the fuck out of here. Oh, 
Oh, I got another pink, but that kind of sucked. What is this guy doing? That's so annoying and gay. Why is this side warded, honestly? My god. People are trying too hard to get a pick on that. Oh, Kaylin died too somehow. I wouldn't be surprised if they got Dragon off of that, but... I didn't really see him. Maybe just Tristan Lee did it. I'll go check. Okay. They did waste a ton of ults for me. Well, not really waste. I got Thresh hooked, Lee Sin kicked, and Oriana ulted after she fell on Lee. But now I'm kind of curious if there's a fucking ward over here. Boom. There she goes, the pink. They're, they're just kind of fighting. I don't know why uh, Warwick didn't go for that. It's maybe because he's building damage. But he definitely should have. Um, I guess we can. I don't. Alright. I won't disagree with the pinking over the ward, but. Wasn't that needed. Because <laughs> we didn't want him to be like, we weren't, I don't know. It's kind of a waste of a pink in my opinion. God, I fucking hate Lee Sin. Just this one. That's also a good idea of why you ward over the wall while you're doing a dragon or baron or something like that. Because he did, I, for some reason he had the ability to see inside of there. Or it was just a really lucky kick. And I tanked the kick for my team. I guess that's fine. I'll use my biscuit now, because I mean, when am I going to get another chance? Fuck that guy. Insta died. Well, yeah, bottom line sucks, dick, whatever. I actually like supporting, uh, compared to, at least compared to, to, uh, jungle and AD carry. Supporting in mid are kind of the same thing. I feel like people, this is my kind of, my theory, I feel like people that are good at mid lane are usually pretty good at support also. And that's because, um, The, the skills that kind of are good for support are the the skills that are good for support are like map awareness and um, what are the other ones map awareness like general game knowledge uh, so that's like skill knowledge um, knowing what people do because that helps actually a lot uh, and cool to, like knowing cooldowns knowing timers and stuff um, people that really like can pay attention to the game do well at uh, supporting also people that have um, like a I don't know mids just kind of like you should know what's happening like if you're mid you should know what top and bot should be doing and you will know what they're doing but you should know what like a uh, laning pressure like a uh, good laning pressure that you want to have at that moment is like sometimes you want to be pushed sometimes you really don't fucking want to be pushed actually a lot of times you want to be pushing so it's nice to know when that's happening because support kind of just kind of feeds information like if bots pushing and there's no chance that they're gonna be doing if bots if your bot is getting pushed in I'm gonna say that from now on if your bots getting pushed in and uh, there's no chance that they can do Baron because you have it completely warded and cleared then you can tell your team that 
and then they will <coughs> they'll be able to push there and then you can also tell them to get back if uh, they need to it just seems really helpful to me and you should do that also as mid or at least I do that as mid oh shit got a kill what's up get two kills nope alright No one wants them kills. You can see it in their faces. Oh shit, this guy. <laughs> the funniest thing ever just happened because I could have easily saved uh, Cassid in there. And this is what I mean. I had my ult up, I could have healed him, and I got my shield up too, so I'm not worried. I don't know, just kind of random shit. Like, they just kind of wasted it Ignite because I could heal over it. And I could have shielded myself for 240 damage, which is most of the Ignite. Whatever, though. I don't know where my three wards are for my Sidestone. Fuck it. Um, probably a pretty late Oracles, but I'm going to buy one. Would have been very helpful, actually, a lot earlier. And then since I don't have anything else to really buy, I'll just buy a lot of wards, or regular wards. Uh, let's see. Janna honestly is a really good support, and mainly because she has a ton of disengage and a ton of chasing potential. I mean, she's got the W slow, she's got the AoE knockup on her Q, she's got the displacement of her ult. And the ult displacement is honestly one of the things that most people have problems with. Because not only, um, I guess I could have waited on that one, but not only do people have a uh, hard time No! So people usually, um, that was a 4v5 ace, really? This game isn't really that good, I guess. But people usually don't know how to use the ult. Like, if you're playing Janna in, like, a low elo thing, then some, or, I mean, even, like, a gold one game, people can really fuck up that ult, and it's kind of annoying. Like, you don't want to use it, you really only want to use that ult if you're, Healing like I did just a little bit ago. I didn't even pop my oracles. Healing like I did just a little bit ago, or just a general like, get the fuck away from me, we're done fighting. But um, let's say your team goes in, and then uh, after that, let's say your team goes in, and then Janet flashes in the middle of everyone, just ults, and you have an AoE comp, it's kind of just like, fuck you, you. Son of a bitch, why would you ult like that? Because knocking everyone away, really bad idea a lot of times. So this is just gonna man mode at 5v1. Uh, oh, okay. Get some movies. And I guess I'll just buy awards for fun, because I don't really need anything anymore, because we're gonna win. Three in hips down, 21, uh, 22 to 8. Every lane is pushing. Not worried about losing. I guess that's how you throw the best though, right? You don't worry about losing in games like this. I doubt they have any wards over here too, because we're so pushed that I I would be so surprised if Thresh had the ability to run out of his base. And he's going for an Aegis, which is kind of another sign that he's not going to be warding. Because the only time where you get like an absolutely massive amount of wards on the map is when one everyone wards or to uh, the other team, the other the other support has zero uh, items. Like you can get a lot of wards by, or you can have a lot of vision by 
honestly not buying anything else or um, just everyone participating. It's like I only have a Kindle Gym and Philo Stone and then Moe's and I had a ton of wards I guess. But yeah, that's a Janna game. 